Uh, let me first uh, very briefly tell you about uh, uh, what we do. Uh, I'm sure that most of you are aware. Yeah? Uh, we are uh, Sri Lanka Spy Living and the leading uh, web based news service on economy, policy, and industry. And every year, we conduct, we host uh, four corporate events. Uh, one on technology and marketing, the other one is um, enterprise strategy and uh, technology. And we also conduct, uh, host a conference on infrastructure development and technology, and of course, the uh, economic outlook of the uh, upcoming year. So, we may have a conference on the marketing and technology, and we have a lot of people who are in the world, and we have a lot of people who are in the world, and we have a lot of people who are in the world. Kerana arkitek sana, business client, ini kan ni, via bar ke wata orang ini, pilih macam tu. Ia ni mak tu mak, naik masa tu ni entah ni bar balap orang tu ni, power tu ni balap orang tu ni, pasti ni orang tu ni, ni LBR LBO Brand Summit kira sama tu. Tapi kalau ni mangkali tu orang ni power tu ni, pasti ni mata orang tu. Hanya orang tu ni cuma, api ni ni sama tu power tu ni. अपने में समुद्र पैरती में नदास कराने को हम तो में मार्केटिंग किया ना विनय व्यापार एक तरफ में इतना समय मागे कुछ तरह हम दूर डर अलग से खेल रहे हैं सवाल किए थे ओके सो बेसिकली डी पर्पस ऑफ माय ब्रांड सामी इज़ टू डिस्कस एंड इज़ टू एनलाइटन बिज़नेस कंपनी अबाउट इंपैक्ट ऑफ डिजिटल � on marketing as a business philosophy as well as marketing as a business practice. What we say is that Sri Lankan consumers are very outside in the digital technology. Uh, you know, of all the telephones in the country, 42% are smartphones. And practically everybody in this country, there are more SIM cards in this country than every man, woman, uh, dog, cattle, uh, cats. We, we have about 25 million. SIM cards in this country. So, fact, the mobile penetration is almost 100 percent. And we have a 60 percent of the people who access internet today, they access to mobile devices, mobile broadband. And 35 percent of the Sri Lankans regularly access internet. There are over 3 million, some estimate to be around 4 million Facebook accounts in this country. We don't use Telegram anymore. I think Telegram service was disconnected, discontinued about 50 years ago. And so, so we have seen the population, the general public are embraced in technology. And they don't write uh, letters anymore. You don't write. You don't use land phones anymore. And every house has a land phone, but it's hardly used because everybody uses mobile phone. But the question is to what extent the companies, uh, businesses are exploiting or uh, leveraging digital technology in redefining the customer experience they offer to their customers. Okay. Do they use digital technology to understand customers' needs, tastes and preferences? Do they need they do they use effectively the customer digital technology to understand the consumer behavior? and then develop offerings accordingly and also use digital technology to develop or rather deliver uh, their uh, value proposition. So that's the whole purpose of we want to create that dialogue, we want to create that discourse. Digital अपने पार को भी आने देना सेवा वाला वैरी जो उनके लिए मटर सा अलग सेवा वाला इताई ना निकुट दूर की मटर तो ये कदम आपने नहीं नहीं सबूले अभी बाला को दे रहा है ना बस बस मतलब ये सबूले तीन साल एक था वाटे ये ना को टक किया खता करना अपने तीनों ये सबूले साल एक था वाटे पहाड़ थी एक एक दिन सबूला � Hari ini pas tu, ni api segala pertanyaan tu, ni pada sesi ni kita tu, ni building break to brand si post marketing ni. So api apa nama pasnya? 
මේ අපි මෙච්චර කාලයක් පහුගිය 20 වෙනි සත වර්ෂයේ තුලදී පාවිච්චි කරපු මේ මාකටින් ප්‍රැක්ටිසස් එහෙම නැත්නම් මාකටින් විදාකර විරුව ඒක අද දුකට මේ ඩිජිටල් තාක්ෂණය අනිත් ජීවත් වෙන පාරි බෝකියට අදාළ වෙනවද කියලා ඉතින් මම So the first session is about building breakthrough brands in post marketing strategy. So we are going to question both the effectiveness of marketing as a business philosophy as well as a business practice in today's context. We have a very strong um, set of people, uh, speakers. We have Asandra Ramasina, a very senior marketer who is uh, uh, charging the session. We have Sunil Sadi, Managing Director of Montego Plans in Sri Lanka. We have Dikhans Mehta, uh, Group uh, Chief Marketing Officer of uh, Malan Lodi has group in India and Nimal uh, Gunawardena Chairman, one of the most veteran, uh, most senior advertising professionals in the country and uh, Amal Patral, uh, former director of, uh, former chairman of Sri Lanka, Vinili uh, of Sri Lanka and we also have Sukun Veera Singh, huh? uh, group CEO of uh, Dialogue Asiana. Then we will move over to uh, next session which is about with the theme of that is it isn't digital marketing it is marketing in digital age so we want to tell people look you know digital technology has taken the human civilization to a new level which a marvelous insight are you can see the digital tasks in mathe kiri latino alu thale samahare vita me akubu devanatta me basa ඉස්සලාම් ව්‍යවහාරයට භාවිතා වුණා පස්සේ විති මානව මානව ඉතිහාසයේ සමහර විට ප්‍රබල විශාලම ජනතම විප්ලවය මෙන්න මේ ඉතිහාසයේ තාක්ෂණය වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඉතින් අපිට දැන් කියන්න ඕනේ මේ ඉතිහාසයේ තාක්ෂණය පරිණත වෙච්ච මේ මානව සමාජයේ කොහොමද අපි අපේ ආර්ථිකය අපේ ව්‍යාපාර කටයුතු ගොඩනංවන්න කියලා. So third session is going to be about customer experience what we call the hyper individualization okay. uh, so what i is trying to say is in businesses in marketing of okay, we tend to believe every cohort every segment um, are kind of homogeneous so we can create one personal experience and hope is that will satisfy everyone in the marketplace so what digital technology is allowing us to in fact you know provide solutions to individual customers understand the individual customers individual needs and tailor made and deliver solutions to their our life or to meet their needs their wants and to satisfy their taste and preferences a third fourth session is going to be about what we call the multi multi screen world um when we were young um, we had only two screens one is the cinema screen Uh, where we go and watch movies, other screen, uh, you know, of course, television. But what are these other screens we are talking about? Everybody carries a mobile phone. Okay. So mobile phone is another screen. Some people carry tablets. Okay, that's another screen. Some people carry more than one mobile. Phone. Some people carry a mobile phone, a notebook computer, and use a desktop computer and a tablet. So that is what we call the multi-screen world. Okay. So we consume content, okay, at different time of the day, different day parts, using different, uh, different uh, 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 devices, different uh, screens. When you get up in the morning, okay, you may first check your email and your social media page or text messages on your mobile phone. Okay. Then while you're having a breakfast, you may be watching television. Then on your way to work, you may be making telephone calls using your mobile. You start your work day, and you might you will switch over to a desktop computer or a notebook computer. Once you are using that, you will also keep your tablet, or you also have your mobile other mobile devices. So while you are working on the computer, you will also be checking your internet, your emails, perhaps on the. on the mobile device so we have this intimate a very complex uh, uh, depending on the day part relationship with uh, these uh, devices and we, we may use these devices for different purposes if you are watching a national geographic um, document on wildlife you may want to watch that in a large uh, cinematic experience uh, uh, a screen which will provide a cinematic experience 
But you want to see or quickly know about what find out about the Mithunamul garbage latest news, okay, you will look at uh, uh, a Twitter account or a Facebook page uh, on your mobile devices on the go. So these are the changes that is taking place and how businesses are going to be affected by this. Uh, is 30 second television commercial still right? Okay. We show in between a telegrama. We have 15 minutes of telegram, 6 minutes of, uh, uh, you know, uh, television commercials or whatever. And are these things still valid? Are, these, are, we, are, we, are we able to convince, are we able to change the behavior and attitudes of uh, the consumers using the conventional media? Or should not we look at a hybrid of conventional media and the digital media to create that custom experience across multiple screens the consumer is using? And the final session is about what we call the content marketing. Now, content marketing is about telling stories. Content marketing is about creating stories. Now, storytelling perhaps is one of the oldest traditions among the human civilization. Probably our our ancestors, you know, while they were, you know, uh, you know, sitting around upon fire twenty thousand years ago in a mortal cave, uh, would have you know shared stories. Okay. So the stories are a social phenomenon. Stories we create together. Stories we share together, and the stories that consumers create about your brand are the most authentic, because it comes from the consumer. It comes from the authentic user. Okay. So, what is this? Uh, you know, uh, to what extent the commercially, uh, sorry, uh, what called the scripted commercial messages like advertising, which I would like to call the prefabricated messages, are effective compared to uh, say a dialogue about a certain brand uh, which is being carried out on for social media by users. Uh, if you want to you know, spend your next um, uh, holiday, if you are looking for a, a place to stay, where will you look at? Will you go to uh, the uh, websites of the respective uh, hotels? Or will you ask, will you go to your Facebook account and uh, post an account, I am planning to go to Akamura, okay, can you tell me, you know, what are the good hotels in? Or you could trip at us, okay, because these sources will tell you an uh, authentic story about the property you are going to sell. Uh, so how are we going to leverage this, you know, uh, you know, what called the new age of vision, word of mouth, okay, in uh, delivering uh, customer experiences, engaging customers. What is word of mouth for us, you know, uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago? Okay, what is the word of mouth today? Word of mouth today is a technology enabled rich uh, process. Because you deal, uh, take for example, WhatsApp group. You might be having a WhatsApp group for your family. So you are communicating with your family members at the same time. And it is not only text, you are sharing images, you are sharing videos, you are sharing links of other websites. So it's a very multi-dimensional rich communication environment. So that is a modern word of mouth. So I'll stop here. Uh, so we have over 20 speakers coming from uh, leading thought leaders of Sri Lanka as well as uh, coming from abroad. And uh, if I may briefly tell you, okay, what are the companies? Um, excuse me. Um, our speakers represent they are from Labs Holding. Um, uh, Lok, uh, Marello, Rentas, uh, Big Strategic Alliance, HMB, uh, JKH, Unilever, Antara Solutions, Fontera Brands, uh, Sapien, Rice of Fish, uh, Digital Transformation Company, uh, Cape Labs, uh, Sri Lankan, uh, uh, a digital technology company which has a development uh, center in Sri Lanka. Uh, Barnes & Jayton is a designer, digital agency based in Singapore. Uh, Stax is a consulting company and Pikmin. Pikmin is our Sri Lanka answer for Uber. Canada LMRP Market Research and Canada DNS Market Research. Pay Media is a Sri Lankan uh, technology startup. Uh, Direct Do is again a Sri Lankan uh, technology startup. And Sampath Bank. Um, we have Google, uh, speaker from Google. Uh, Hangaba Digital Services, a digital agency based in Mumbai. We have Group M, the uh, world largest uh, media buying and media investment management company. We have Degada TV, uh, luxury, uh, uh, we come again. 
uh, speaking uh, representing uh, Devanan. TV who spiritually tells to get how conventional television is adapted to the new uh, digital environment. We have uh, speakers from KWT, BBDO, uh, YNR, and uh, yes, so these are the companies uh, we have, and of course, Dallas Asiata. So we have different kinds of companies. We have large Sri Lankan companies, we have multinational technology companies, we have multinational uh, communication companies, then we have Sri Lankan tech companies, and we have Sri Lankan uh, uh, tech startups. So we have a you know, spectrum of industries uh, you know, represented by the speakers. Uh, so gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'll stop here because I have this bad habit of you know, non-stop talking when I'm talking about uh, my business. So I'll stop here and uh, uh, I will, uh, uh, I'll be happy to uh, respond to any of the questions you may have. And also my colleague, uh, Shamiri uh, Jayasena, uh, who is uh, basically going to approach the logisticals and for the, uh, uh, for the summit. And if I, I also would like to mention who are the partners. The event is sponsored by DAC Holdings, E Futures and BBE of Sri Lanka, and also endorsed by uh, some of the leading professional organizations in this space, uh, ACCA, uh, Market Research Society of Sri Lanka, and uh, the 4 A's, um, Association of Accredited Advertising Agencies of Sri Lanka, and uh, IAA, that is International Advertising um, Association. So it is supported by uh, relevant related uh, professional bodies and sponsored by the video, chat uh, holdings and e-futures. So I'll stop here and I'll be happy to uh, respond to any questions, any queries, any clarification you may have. Thank you so much.